what goes on, people. Welcome to Den Knight, and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Final Fantasy VII Remake um, Earth Statue by Square Enix. Um, I originally didn't buy this when they came out. I was going to stick to just Cloud and Sephiroth, but I love those so much that I decided to get the last in the set, and I'm really hoping they do another wave and do at least some some of the rest of the characters. I'm kind of afraid they're just going to not go any farther with that, and it's all there's going to be, but I figured just in case. And I got a great deal on this on eBay, too, so do a quick once around. Um, I'm going to double check. I just I hope this is authentic, at least, in that it's the same scale, because she looks a little, a little smaller than the other two. I mean, I know... Sephiroth and Cloud are tall, but I, I always thought Aerith was about the same size as Cloud. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to double check the specs on the website once I get it out of the box to make sure I didn't get ripped off. Um, it does have the holographic Square Enix sticker, but I mean everything, I don't, I don't know, I don't think that really means anything, to be honest. Anyway, not much to look at the box. Just the side of Midgar. Logo on the back, another image of Midgar, and then the window. So, with that said, let's get it out of the box. So, here we got her out of the box. Um, I will say all the packaging was the same as the authentic figures. And, um, quick aside, <laughs> I'm not a weirdo. I just noticed this when she fell out of the box, because it was presented to me. But... They actually gave her underwear, which is kind of weird, because why would you ever see that angle? So, <laughs> makes me think it's authentic. Again, not a weirdo. It's just how it fell out. Sorry. Anyway, so she won't stand on her own until she's on the base, but... Uh, base is pretty much the same as the other two, other than the way her boot fits in. Um, I don't know. Overall, it's looking pretty authentic. Um, I looked it up on Big Bad Toy Store, and it's supposed to be about just just about nine inches tall. So once she's set up, we'll check that out. Uh, just like the other weapons, the staff's in two pieces, so you can kind of slide it in the hand easier and not have paint scuff. I also appreciate that. And have another indication to me that this is probably authentic. Anyway, let's see if I can do this one-handed. At least the stand part. Mm -hmm. It's not, well, almost. I can fix that later, but mostly on. Just a basic image of her standing. Um, okay, so tape measure, what I say, nine inches. Well, plus the base. It's hard to get a read, but yeah, it's the right height. I don't know. To me, she just looks like a little smaller scale, just because her head's so small and everything. Uh, maybe I'm remembering the other statues wrong, but. I guess we'll really find that out when we get her next to the other two statues with uh, Cloud and Sephiroth. Anyway, um, let's do a quick cut. Let me get her fully secure on the base and put the staff in her hand. All right, got her all set up, more secure, the weapon in the hand. Um, it I did get very minor paint scuff. You're probably not even going to be able to see it. I'm just really picky when I slid the uh, handle portion in. But where it happened, very easily hideable. Not a big deal. Let's check out some of the detail. Uh, again, like the other two, looks like she's ripped her out of the game. Lots of detail in the face. Shading the hair and everything. Um, there's kind of a little bit of a gap in the molding there that sticks out. But 
it's definitely a ding on it, but depending on how you display it, you won't even see it anyway. But other than that, the hair is very detailed. Uh, big square Enix logo right on the back. Now I'm wondering if that was on the other two and I missed it. I don't know. Lots of little detail in her jacket. I'm not even sure if in the game I noticed that those stars were on her shoulder like that. I doubt I did, if they're even there. But cool detail. Even the, the lapels of the jacket. Different shades. Uh, real good paint job on all the differences, if I ever get it to focus. Yeah. Even, it almost even looks like there's holes in the buckles, doesn't it? I looked, there's not. If you get real close, there's not, but it almost gives the illusion. That's really sweet. Looks like they're real. Uh, even her dress, lots of detail. You can see the whole pattern. It is a 3D. So they put a lot of work into this, especially for the price. Even that uh, creepy detail I told you about earlier. <laughs> um, the only thing that's not super detailed, which I don't know why it would be, is just the staff. It's kind of bleh. But, I mean, I don't think it was very complex in the first place, but... Not no shading or anything, just black and silver, which is fine. Uh, good detail on her boots, and all the paint paint app is very crisp. I think I said that already, but it is very very crisp. I can appreciate that. So I think, even though I got it super cheap and it was a little bit suspicious, I I think this is authentic. Anyway, do one more once around, just look at all the details. Very happy with this, very glad I got it. I don't know that I would have paid full price for it, especially since it's so much smaller than the other two. Well, as far as I remember, we'll find out. But, very happy with it. Anyway, with that said, let's get in the showcase. And here we have her in the showcase. Uh, definite, especially between uh, Sephiroth and her, definite height difference. I guess it's not as bad as I thought. Although I did think they were about the same size. I'll have to look back. Anyway, like I said, hopefully they make more in this series. I do like the statues. They're very detailed, very quality. And... Overall, happy with what I have so far. With that said, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all those YouTube things. Share this with someone who might enjoy it. And keep collecting. Bye.